start off with a brief introduction. Last night you spoke in Yeshiva Ar Yitzchak. Somebody was there, sent me a clip, a video clip. And I said, wow, we have somebody who, who can give us his own. What we do here is, all these people came to me for advice because they have children who are completely off the derech. Many of them are on drugs, teenagers or young adults. Bechal Shabbos, I only deal with Bikwach Nefesh. And when things are really out of control, that pretty much everyone else gives up. My mahalach is keeping the kid home, giving him a loving home, giving him loving parents, even though what he's doing is not right. And we do it to an extreme. And we have people who are here for new, for six months, a year, two months, three months, four months. They've been struggling with three kids for five years. They're angels. And we have people who come back to give chizuk to the group. And we are the most extreme mahalach to defend the children, that we, we believe in them. I don't believe in unconditional love. Unconditional love means that I love you for some reason. I like unconditional like. I like you. You're good. Unconditional trust. I trust you. Unconditional acceptance. We accept you. We invest a tremendous amount in these kids, even though they're dysfunctional. They, some of them waking up at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and we carry them through the painful years, and we get the nachas in Mitzvah Hashem after many years of doing this. Our success rate is, Baruch Hashem, very good. Um, the other kids in the family, which I heard one of the questions to the Rav was, what about the other kids? We have 1,600 siblings that are under our care. Just in this room, we must have approximately 200 siblings. How are they doing? We can ask them. We can give you data to support what you did yourself, because we have hundreds of people doing the same thing. We have hundreds of people who will show you that the other kids, 99% of them, steig. they grow. They understand that this kid is sick, and we're going to love them and be a part of them. And these people, these are the parents who are doing the work that I teach them what to do. They're angels. I want to start off with a vart that I keep on saying since I heard it a few months ago. And I think you're going to love the vart. Balaturim. It says, Benafshe Kshur Benafshe. How am I going to go back? The Hanar. We're talking about Hanar. A Nenu Itanu. Benafshe Kshur Benafshe. Binyamin's nefesh was kosher to the nefesh of his father of Yaakov. So the Balaturim says there's a Messiah that there are two times in Tanakh that it says the word Kshura. Both of them talking about a Nah. The Hanar and then we turn to the Nafshay Kshura of Nafshay, and there's another Nah. Iveles Kshura the Lev Nah. What happens if you have a Nah and Iveles is Kshura is bound folly, foolishness, drugs, lazy sleeping, all of the Shikasa. Zot the Balatum is a Rishin. The only Eitza, when you have Iveles that is Kshura the Lev Nah, it's only one Eitza. The Nafshay Kshura, the Nafshay Shalavi. The only way to get your kid to unbind from the craziness, from the drugs, and from everything, is when you bind your soul to this kid. And this is a life-saving idea, and these are the people that are doing it. Now, it sounds very easy. Keep the kid home. You know what? When you throw the kid out, it's a, it's, it's, it's a Nisayan, it's over, boom, gone. It's not so true. They come back, and it's not so pushed. But it's easy mahalach. Our mahalach, keep him home. We have thousands of questions. Oh, keep him home. What do you do now? What do you do tomorrow? And all of a sudden he's this, and all of a sudden that, and he comes to the Shabbos table in his underwear, and he brings home a girl, and he brings home drugs, and it, it becomes so confusing. So we get together every Monday night, every Tuesday night, they come, all the parents that I train, and they come over every week to discuss, and we work really hard. And we work with all the siblings, I meet the siblings, and we work really hard for years to carry the family, not to drop the patient, not to lose the kid. He's wrong. We know that. But we know something deeper. I don't know about in Israel. But in America, what comes out when you really get to know the kids, these are traumatized kids. These are kids that went through trauma. Trauma. Most of the kids, it comes out three, four, five years later sometimes that they were molested or raped at young ages, five, six, seven, eight. Many of the kids had learning disabilities and were, were traumatized by the system. There are many different things that traumatize kids. But in America, me, Chaim, Glantz, all the people here, we know that if you take any kid off the street, especially the worst ones, the ones who are angry, and you get to know them, and you invest in them, and you get them comfortable, they will tell you that something happened to them as a child. There's no such thing as becoming dysfunctional, 
throwing away the Messiah, throwing away Taira, grabbing drugs and craziness, doesn't happen without pain. That's what we're finding over here, over and over and over again. And we can ask the parents, these parents are open. You can ask them, what's their stories? What happened? Do they know? When did they find out? Just the last five, six weeks, at least four or five parents found out that their children were molested, traumatized as children. It's, it's unbelievable. And I get the phone call and we work on it. And when you come and I tell you, this is probably what happened, you look at me like, oh, it's crazy. What's he talking about? Until you find out, never, that this is the story. So that's my introduction. If anybody wants to say a little bit, just like a quick summary of the stuff that you're going through. You want to start, please? Just to get the ball rolling. Get the ball rolling. Yeah, you shy My story is too long. I'll get the ball Okay. Just quick, short, and to the point. Just a little bit. Um, a 12 year old that is difficult for years. I'm sorry. We have a 12 year old daughter who's difficult for years, and 12 year old, and she was in school. And she was in a top school and she became suicidal. She doesn't want to live, she wants to run away from home at 12 years old, just within from literally from within four weeks. She was this and she went to this. And by the time we came to him, we told him that our kid is so terrible. He said she's in trouble, you know, and then you know the process started. We also have another child, a 22-year-old. Each one has nothing to do with the other, but this child today is smiling, no suicide, not a counselor, not medicine. She goes to school, she's happy. I'm not saying she's completely functional, but... What was the change? What, what caused this change? It's my lack of understanding the child and accepting her. Okay. What, he, what, he, what he tells us to do has a whole system of how to train it. Do you understand? I would love you, right? You see, if he he likes to, he wants she wants to go with 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 short skirts. You buy him a short skirt, right? She wants to go in the tights. You take her to the store, and she wants to wants to wear, right? She wants a phone. You get her a phone. She wants a TV. She's needed. You give it for her, and you're showing her. You're not endorsing the thing. You're endorsing her. You're you're, you're authenticating her. You're, you're saying, "I love you for who you are." Doesn't matter if she wants to wear. She has you know the fingernails. But she wants to you know. And you, you, she gets accepted. <laughs> um, we came here a year ago to see Avi, and my son was on drugs, on everything you can imagine, from cocaine to. How old is he? He is 19. How old? 19. 19. It was 18 at that point. He was driving us nuts. We already threw him out of the house. We didn't know what else to do with him. Uh, Abby, of course, taught us how to bring him back and, you know, love him and do everything for him. And it was very difficult. We went, you know, he, he was even suicidal at one point. He took 20 pills, drank a bottle of vodka, and ran into the woods. We had Shomer looking for him and brought him back. He was also throughout, you know, this time, he was arrested for drugs, for, for weapons. We, we had to bail him out. We went through, through hell. Uh, about six months ago, he gave up all drugs. He stopped everything. Uh, the past few weeks, he stopped eating trafe. He's trying to keep Shabbos for the past few weeks. He's telling us that, you know, he, want, he even asked me he wants to go to yeshiva in Israel. Not the yeshiva for special kids, he wants a yeshiva where he can learn and grow. And, uh, you know, Baruch Hashem is functioning. He's, he's, he's going full as a wife. I know when you bring me here, because you know, you know, what, what can I add? What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> no, but no this, yeah, I know I came here to hear this about a tool. <laughs> the thing is that what I can tell you is this first of all I began to deal with this problem uh, 10, 20, 15 years ago with my own children we have 7 boys, 6 boys and one, and one, and one, one, one daughter from this 7 children 4 of them, each one of them gave us a special course <laughs> and and, and uh, 
and a miracle happened. The miracle was, I threw one of my children from home, and once he was going out, something happened in my head, and I understood that I have to pray to the Kodesh Bohu not to make him a bad shoe, but to make me a bad shoe. I to have, I need to, I, I have to change my attitude. I have to, I have to understand that this is an issue that the Kodesh Bohu gave me. And this changed the thing, and now I want only to tell you, I wrote a small book about it, it's called Over Sarboni, it will be translated by the Hashem, it is it is translated already into English, oh, maybe in two or three months, maybe it will be published in America. Beza Hashem, but it's only theory because Mashiach will come much before that and you won't need it. But anyhow, in Chasra or not, I want to tell you something which is my experience and my conclusions from what I experienced with my children and with many, many other parents that came to me. It is not the same. It is the, 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 the theory that I heard it is not much the same as I, I want to present to you. All what I can add here is what is written in the Torah. And it is my chidush in the Torah. But I get I got a skome on this small book. We are one. We are before the Geula. Gilgulim of Nishomes go Yeridas Adoyrois is not Oive Yeridas Adoyrois. You know what Yeridas Adoyrois means in English? Descent of the generations. Each generation is, is worse than the one before. Yeridas Adoyrois. And the Goyen says that today we have the vitality of, of uh, uh, Earth that was, uh, you know, from, from a dead person, you know, a, a live person, and then when he's dead, he saves his body has some vitality, and then he becomes only skeleton, and this and this. We became now the vitality in our souls is, the Goyen says it, of Shel Kav Choyma, what do you want to call it? Uh, uh, say Beirut, we have translators here. Like a We go down and down and down. And there's a posuk in, in Mishri, the Goyen says it. Al Tavuski Zaknai Mecha. He talks about Yerida Sadeiris. There was Nevim, and then Tanoim, and then Amoroim, and then Rishonim, and then Achroinim, and then Achroi Achroinim, and we go down. It's go down. It's not Oivei. It is the Malach of the Kodesh Bohu to repent, to correct the Mesaken. Koine Hakor, we say in every Tvile. To every spark of the soul of a Jew. When we went out of Mitzrayim, Moshe Rabbeinu accepted the Edomah. They are mingled <coughs> in Am Yisrael. Why did he accept them? Because they had the courage. They went out of Egypt. We don't even imagine what Nisoyen it was. They go out, at least three million people. What will they drink tomorrow in the morning? Water for three million people. And they went out. And the Kurbo says to Moshe Rabbeinu, they will give you the trouble in the whole history of Am Yisrael. He accepts it. And the Tikkun Nezuach says, this is why Moshe Rabbeinu will be the third Mashiach. Mashiach with Yosef, Mashiach with David, and then Mashiach Moshe Rabbeinu, who is, because he accepted them. Because of them. And Noyach. Noyach. Ishtamit Tzadik Medogotav Noyach. He should have been Mashiach. He will be Mashiach because he didn't pray for his dog. Dog Shel Hamas, Dog Shel Arayas, Gezen, are the worst thing in the world. He didn't pray for them, he didn't give sacrifice. No, Moisa Nefesh on them, he won't be Mashiach. Moisha Rabbein also. He'll be this. This Erev Rab is mingled in Israel. Each one of us has a part of Erev Rab. They are mingled. The Neshomes go through Gilgulim. And each Gilgul takes out the best. And a Neshomah, which is Metsuken, it's, it's, it's a Metukan, how do you say it's uh, fixed? fixed. Go, stays there and doesn't come again. But the worst part in the show is go down and down and down. We are before the Geulim. Our children are Anusim, not even Shoigigim and Kalbachoyma, not Mezidim. They are Anusim. They have a stone cover on the souls. They cannot get out of it. 
Al Lucy, what do you say? Al Lucy. Al Lucy. It's an authentic expression. Onus Popo. A shoy gang brings hot hatos. Maisie can bring hatos. If it is with two witnesses, he's being is being killed. Onus is Popo. Onus means he is an authentic expression. I I'm sure that I'm talking about my children, talking about children that I met, even they went through all the things, I don't know what was the reason, what was what, what was before, what was after, I don't know. I for me, this is what I this is my conclusion. They cannot they, 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 it's impossible. They cannot go out and a prisoner cannot get him out himself out from the prison in his age. He is in a prison. His midas is the stone. <coughs> because the book says that before the girl, I will take off the stone heart that you have and give you a, a, a heart of flesh. For me, this is the basis. And I understood this. <coughs> I did exactly what the rabbi said. I accepted them. We told them that they are our children in any case. I have a proof. We <coughs> said there is an inner ani before even being Jewish. This inner ani is a very, very deep part. Ani me. Ani is me. Part. I have proof is we say every morning, oh, Shalom Asani Goy. Shalom Asani Goy. If I would be a Goy, <coughs> it would be me. It proves that there is a me inside even before being Jewish. This ani has to get a response. He has to no, we love not because we are religious. He hates religion. He hates the Haredi. He hates all the this inquisition that the Yeshivas gave him. He, if you are not in the line, you are out. Hashem Yerachem. Maybe I don't have a, I cannot blame the Yeshivas. You know, there are more and more pupils and they cannot deal with them. They are molested for years and they keep it in, the, in themselves and they play it and they play it and then they grow up and become old in 50 60 years old and they cannot bear it anymore and this is their savings that sorry that's all the fortune because if they stay inside if, if they can marry and they can be we have today groups of hundreds of people in the United Soil married left their homes left their children left everything and became Shiloini and making all the avails in the oil room because they kept it in themselves and they played the game and they weren't true with themselves. The fact that our children do it when they are 40, 50, 60 years old is that sorry if we know how to treat them. This is, this is the only thing that I can add to this thing. For me, it's, I have proof to it. Yesh do not inform on a slave. You gave him all the best in the world. You gave him the best life in the world. Because if you will do it, you will reform the Kodesh Boko, you will come in with kindness to, against the slave. He will curse you and you will be the one to be blamed. <laughs> he will blame you, he will curse you and you are the one to blame. Says the God. Well, says Shreem Amir. Who is the slave? Do et avid ye kalel vet imono A generation that will curse his father and won't bless his mother. Though tahor be'ina will tzator ruchas. They are clean in their own eyes and they are not even clean from the dirt. Though shina v'tartav v'chol ani meret said, all the averes in the oil room and the goin finishes and says, ve'af al pichel al tekalel, you do not inform, and if you do it, you are the one who is to blame, ve'ein lecha pele gadol mizeh. And there's no greater wonder than this. Pele is not yet Aleph. Aleph is the beginning of the word. There is a whole thing in the Zohar Kodosh. The Aleph comes back from the end to the beginning. We are now at the end, which comes back to the beginning. Ze Ado, it's the, the last door. And this is our Tikkun. In the, in, in the motto of this book that I wrote, this book I wrote, La Yeladim, Children, Shechanan Otano Elokim, the Godibogu. It was joining us with the children, Shezikunu, they gave us the schus of the greatest tikkun in our lives. 
I was a Haredi. I today I'm trying to be Oyvind Hashem. Don't be Haredi. And uh, I understood that uh, uh, people are ashamed because establishment and Haredi and society mm-hmm. and they know it. No, no, this is all stupidity. We have to do this. This is our tikkun. This is the issue of our generation to save these children. This is the specific issue of our generation. Tere, <laughs> how can we compare that to Chazonish? Not to the Goyen, Chazonish. I don't know. Feel how we can get from them. Chaz to them. That's not even. But the specific job of our door is to save the children. How? Whenever I said it, I cannot add anything. The Baal Atum said it. As exactly you said it, I love you. You are my child. You are my child. You will do whatever you want. I love you. And they are not stupid. They know that this is Kiddush Hashem. When you buy them, when you did whatever you did, you put, or somebody, yeah, you bought them everything you want to do it. This is Kiddush Hashem. It's Kiddush Hashem. Why? He knows who you are. It's not stupid. He knows that you are a rich man. And then he understands what the Kodesh Bohu wants. Then he understands the Kodesh Bohu is not, when the Mashkiach stands up on, 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 in the Yeshiva and says, Enul, Panot says, ay, ay. This young boy said, I don't, I don't belong here. I don't feel Panot says, I don't feel anything. What is he talking about? That means he's a Kodesh. I'm 14 years old, I'm 13 years old, I'm a child. He's a college. So that means I am a, I am a criminal. I, I, I don't belong here. I have a grandson. One of the most beautiful young people I ever met. Such a soul. And such a Itzahoe. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. He was in Yeshiva. <coughs> Brachman the Yeshiva. The Yeshiva was our thinker. Shrita. He came to him and said, Rashive, I, I'm in trouble. I think about girls. Rashive said to him, I, me too. What do you do? <laughs> 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 this saved his life. <laughs> this saved his life of this boy. What can we do about it? Let's, 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 give a, let's sit together and think what we can do about it. This is the true answer. It was great. What are we talking about? Why? We are Christians, Chas We are pure. We have Yitzhak. Everybody has. Moshe Rabbeinu and Yeshua Benun. Everybody. And I'll think, yeah, I told yes. What can we do about it? He said this right. But the Roman Mashiach, what? What are they talking about? What can we do? I don't know. So he feels that he is out. To be with him, Nafshok Shu Abi Nafshok. It was like coming to America, Jesus is about to I never heard him, I never heard him. Then, yes. I just want to, because let's say our daughter, she was saying the example with a Christmas tree, and our daughter also. So one day she's with a Santa hat, you know? Well, hang on. You guys can't start there. If they give it a little bit of a background of how she ended up with a Santa hat. From Borough Park, they don't usually wear Santa hats. Okay. She's in a rehab, you know living with Goyim, for many months. And over there, there's, it comes to the holiday. She's surrounded by Goyim, Nebo. Like Yosef at Tzadik in Mitzrayim. And she's a good, pure Jewish heart. And they're over there for the whole place. So she likes to cut, and she helped out to make uh, what they're doing there. Nebo, she's recovering from, from drugs, and she's in a hospital. So she, she did decorate, she did do the second part. She decorated the tree. Um, and anyway, so we picked her up and she's with the Santa hat. But the next day we pick her up, she's with a siddle in the hand. And she tells us that she just finished the daven. So what do you have to say? What is that? <laughs> I, I understand it's so good. As, as the rabbi said, she's there with Christian. She does. They are, they are mixed up. They have to get assurance on the, of their being on the most basic level. Before religion, before Siddur, don't talk one word, not Musa, and not religion, and not Taylor, and not any. I love you. You can do whatever you like. I, 
has to get assurance, approval of his most basic being before him being a Jew. Because we, we told her, because we, when we picked her up when she was with the Santa hat, and we told her that she looks very cute, and, and she came into the car, and we were going to go to a kosher restaurant, the two of us, to eat out. And so that was enough, because we told her that she looks so cute and it suits her, she didn't need any more of the hat. She left it in the car. And then the next day we pick her up, and she goes, I just finished the daven, and she goes, you wash your hands six times, right? Yes. And then you say the bracha, right? Why are you surprised? Why are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. I'm like just telling you her oh, condition. She, she believes she was. She is, I cannot, I'm not a psychologist. I know only one thing. They didn't, they didn't, it's, it's called an emotional maturity. The emotional <coughs> maturity is back. They, they didn't grow up emotionally wow. Wow. <laughs> with, with coldness, with the outside environment. Uh, Musa, this, Tieto, Chavez, they, they don't, they don't match, they don't, they're not there. They're not there. They're like puppets. They say all the words and they're not there and they say, and, and they cannot bear it anymore. I have to be myself. So she goes, she'll do anything in the world just to feel that she's doing what, whatever she wants. The most machine in the Zach in the world. This gap, we, we have to, we don't have to, we don't have to mention, we have to give her first of all this assurance that she or he are loved, beloved, no, without any basis, without any cash and without any connection to religion. I love you. The way that, the way that, the cup, the cup. I recognize that that's, that's the healing process. I recognize that the word is acceptance. And at the end of the day, the child is going to go wherever they are most accepted. If at home, you're always looking at me, yeah. I don't feel good, and on the street, I'm a hero, yeah. I go on the street. Right. But we came up with a cup. How do you prove acceptance? How can I prove to you that I really accept you? And it's not by saying it. Right. I, I want to answer a quick answer. Only if you really change your heart, if you understand really the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, the word sick, I don't, he is honest, he is, I don't know. How, how, how does the Rav come up to this conclusion that these Balai Taiva doing Averis are honest? Uh, how do we get to honest with one apart? Why? <laughs> I tell you a story. The parents called me. He's the son, six years old in Netanya. Hits them, curses them. Mishuga, you know all the things. I talked to this boy on the phone. It took at least 15 minutes. I said, show me this. Um, ah, so uh, you, you, you live at home or you live by yourself? No, I live at home. Ah, and uh, how old are you? 40? No, it's a 16. Six, ah, 16. Ah, you from? Ah, then. And uh, you work yesterday? No, I don't work. Ah. So, how do you don't work? No. So, um, where, the, where, where do you get the food? He said, what do you mean you get the food? I eat at home. Oh, he's at home. Oh. I, I, make, I, I make myself gosh tippish, yes. <laughs> it's, it's your home? It's your home? No, it's my parents home. Ah. Oh. Ah, I didn't understand. So you're in your parents home, I understand. Ah, and you're opening your own food, I understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's your parents' home? He says, yes, again and again. And uh, you live there and you have your own home? Yes, I have own home. Of course, you don't pay for the home. What are you talking about? <laughs> Slowly, and he bathes there and he uses the warm water 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Until I got to the point, so your parents bought this house and it's theirs, and you have a room there, and you eat their food, and don't you think you should behave with courtesy? In courtesy, because you don't pay for it, and you live there, and you eat their food, and you use their electricity, and you have a wrong call, he said, yes. Yes, yeah. For 50 minutes, that I mean the Anusi. They, it, 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 to get to such a simple <coughs> point that, that he has to have Makir Toim, Hakora Satoim, 
הוא זה בכלל לא בעניין, הוא משוגע, הוא לא שם, הוא לא שם. The fact that he lives in a world that he cannot match, it, it is something he cannot, he, somewhere in his brain he might think that it is true, but he is not there. Why? Because, because he is honest, because he is, he is closed in a heart of stone, and the inner, the Zohar, I, I don't think that I make uh, imaginations, the Zohar says <coughs> there is a princess, Bat Melech, in the inner soul of each Jew. And she is in a stone cage. You cannot reach it only with peace, only with love. This is why I took this thing. I cannot explain to you in psychological terms. I'm not a professional. I don't know. But I can tell you that I feel that there's nobody to talk to. I wanted, I wanted to show the Rav something interesting. Because I, I know you speak to a lot of people. But I don't know if you've ever been in a room like this. We, we have data. Now watch this. This is amazing. Because people out there in the world, they totally, they look at the problem, and they don't even know what they're looking at. They think someone, what, one Rav said, there's always an Erev Rav. These are the Erev Rav. So, uh, Bali Taiva. The Bali ta these are the Bali Taiva. These are the Rishon. These are the Dominus. Watch this. Well, watch this. This is very interesting, and this is fact. I love doing this because it just brings out the point unbelievably. Please, what? Please raise your hand if out of all of your children that this kid is was growing up as a super yummy sweet child with tremendous good meals. And please raise your hand. Okay, put your hands down. <laughs> Raise your hand if this child, from all your children, was a very smart child. And keep your hands up if this child was top, top in his class, brilliant kid. These are the kids that we're losing. We're, okay, put your hands down. We're not losing the... 4G. When I... 4G. 4.0 average. 4.0. 4G. When I realize, when I'm, when I'm interviewing the parents, and when they come to me, they hate their kids sometimes. Yeah? And they're not looking to say good. And I asked them, describe the child that we're talking about. So if this is dumb and mean, and these are the smart and sweet, I would have thought everyone's in this category. Maybe a little bit like this. Maybe a little bit like this. But all of them are here. We're losing our sweetest, smartest. It seems like the dumb kids get kicked around, and they live with it. Megai Vata. The life continues. The smart kids, these are our brilliant kids, hopping off. I, I, I have no other explanation. You ask me, I know about what you said about whether being uh, the, all the things, the best things that happen to every child. For me, I'm, I take it from the Torah. I learned it from the Torah that this is the generation that the Goyen says, Do we know this generation? And he says, Pele is Otiot Aleph. It's the beginning. It's Mamish the end. We are. This is our tikkun. <coughs> this is the only thing that I can say. I'm sure, exactly what I said, they have the most sweetest souls in the world. It's inside, it's a batmelech, it's a princess. It's there. Our job, to melt the stone. To love, not too much, to be normal. He is a part of the family. You ask about other children, I, I, where, uh, I don't know about the past, I have today, grandchildren, you see one of them comes to me, comes to me every day, we learn together, he loves me, I love him, you don't know soccer, because you don't play soccer at all in, 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 in the United States, but we play soccer, so his haircut is of, uh, of Messi from Barcelona, his shirt is from Real Madrid, his shoes are from Chelsea, his trousers are from Tottenham, and he is... He, 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 this is where he looks, and this is where he goes, and where he sits with me, and we learn deep things, deep things. In one minute, he changes. He looks like this. Can <coughs> I come to make Seder in their family. Is he the son of my daughter, of our daughter? So all the families are ours. They come, and there's tradition. We make the Seder there. How old is he? Well, he is now twenty. When I come in, so it's even Saba, Hafif, Saba, Royal Kavid, Yani Hafif, 
It means make it easy. Don't, don't, don't be too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and I began, and I began to tell them my Yitzhak Mitzrayim, my wife, myself. We went out to Mitzrayim, where we were, and where we live. It began like this. And I go into the Agode, and I got this. It sits for hours, like this. Ken Saba, Tamshik Saba. This, this is, the, and we goes out, it's a mania say. I'm going out from here. I'm going out to the street. My friends are sitting there on the bench. Ah, voila, eh, voila, eh, voila. They smoke this, this, all things. And we have patience, and he will become a sadigo. I have a son, but to 36 years old. He didn't do anything at all. Slept until 3 o'clock after the moon, drugs, discotheques, girls. Not no prayer, no damani, not no nothing at all. Went without the army, nothing at all. He wanted to make how the movie runs the world. He wanted to, he wanted to be in film. I was in films. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat him, join him. I said, okay, let's make a film together. You play yourself. I want him to get into a job, to work. To begin work, to do something. So from this, okay, film. We made the film together, Triology, it was a big success. I played myself, he played himself. I played Ubizoa, he played Itama. And he te texts me, you are the spot, you are cruel, you are this, uh, te te te. what do you say? Love, love. He talked about, I talked to you, anyhow, it, it, it was, and we had three parts. One, in our house in Java, we had a very big house in Java, looking over the Mediterranean, said, how did you leave such a palace? We live today in a, an apartment which is uh, smaller than an uh, eighth of this room. And then the second part was about films, and the third part was back to the ghetto, so we called it, back to Jerusalem. And I showed him, this was the three things. And he didn't go into films, he wanted nothing, it was all. His way, 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 boy again, get down there, he was out. And he knows a girl, a Hiroini girl that wants to meet me. Because if she'll meet me, maybe, maybe she'll make sure. Please, he says to me, meet this, my son and this girl. And then, through the girl, he would talk to my son and make, the son calls me. He says, uh, I said, well, when do you come? Both of you? He says, well, both of you. I don't come. She comes along. So she came along. And she begins to talk to me. She says, but it's very difficult to be about you. I said, of course, did you see the films I did with Itama? No, she didn't see. The minute I say this, Itama comes in. Itama, do you have this film? No, not at home. I have the office. I have the office, not the office, not his office. An office that he, he made there. He was working there, not, uh, nothing for a few days. He has this office. I said, you want to give it to her? Yes. They go to the office together. They talk in the car. He takes it to Ramad Gan, from Luz Ramad Gan. They talk all night long. She goes up home. She says to her father, Abba, Matsadi Nakhatanjiri. I found my husband. <laughs> and he came across his mother and said, Ima Matsadi Nakhatanjiri. And they married after three months. This girl became a Baras Chuve and she made him a Tzadi. She chabal achem al azman. I, I, I wish to myself to pray the way he prays today. In such a vacuous. And this boy was 26 years old, did nothing at all. It was there. It was inside, it was there. It was, had to be awakened, had to be something to happen. And we, if it would take 30 years, we thought 30 years. It took 26 years. And this girl came, uh, four children. We didn't do anything. We just gave him the, to stay in. Because if they go out to the streets, even they become older, they became, begin to understand the void that is outside and the, 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 the quality of the life they left. They, they cannot come back because it's too difficult, they're far away. But if they're in, they're in. And it happens inside. And <coughs> I'm sure that this is the tip of our generation. I say again the same things, maybe. The way you talk, I don't have to no, say. no, it's no. not. No. Please continue. Does anybody want to interrupt the same thing? Yeah. Huh? yeah. But then they're living in this life. Hands, hands. Anybody want to continue? Okay. You have to continue. You have to ask questions. I don't have to say yes. Any questions? Any questions? If, if. Is that a question that I was did, 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 did it help you your your history to do that CFA? I'm not sure. 
No, because there are many, many Manchurians that are on the country. When you're Manchur, you will be killing, you become very, very Haredi and very... What do you mean? You, you don't do things, you know, this. I, I'm not sure, I don't know. But I know that it will be the I know it for sure. He, I don't know what changed my mind. I remember the minute. He went out from home, I threw him out. I said, wait, wait, I wait. Slicha. Tislachi. Sorry. Yes, forgive me. Said I'm not. Zerata Zani. I just want to Wow. Amen. I don't know. How do you deal with neighbors when they want you to throw out your kid because they don't want to see the kid on the block? I tell, uh, I tell you a story. Listen, and you will have to come in Jubis. Then you get the spiritual help from the Jubis. One son called me from Yeshiva, one of the most important issues in the story. He calls me, he says, Abba. You want to stay in the yeshiva and to play the game, the game? I said, what do you mean? He said, listen, the yeshiva comes in, I look into the morgue, I make dinner, I don't learn, I don't do anything. He goes out, I went back, I talk about politics, I don't do anything in the yeshiva. You want to play all this game or to get out? I said, where? I don't I said, I don't know. To get out? To the street? He said, maybe, I don't know. I said, what, what is your question? He said, because maybe if I stay, I'll catch. Maybe I'll catch. Maybe I'll go out. I don't, I, I, I don't know really what to do. To stay or to go out? What do you tell him? Globally, you could tell to stay, but not to globally. But to but stay and? Globally, to stay in Shiva. To stay in Shiva. Globally. 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 <laughs> Life sentence. This man, yes, this man will go up a, a, a halul, how do you say it? I know, a hollow. A hollow haredi with nothing with the college go I said to him, leave. He went out of the yeshiva. Leave the yeshiva, go out. And his wife was safe. He, for years, two, three years, went in the street, there, 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 came back, there, 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 and then he met a girl, and then he married, and he made the match. Because he didn't lie. A man came to me with six children, for one of the most important families in Jerusalem, it was the most important in Eretz Yisrael. And he, Talmit <coughs> Chochem, Ram in Yeshiva, teacher in Yeshiva, everything. He said, I, I, I was lost. I left everything. I never had any connection to Kodesh Gohu. I felt nothing. And then he saw a book of a Baras Chuve, Bresler. She wrote Bikini. And she told, and this saves his life. And then with Chochem Godel, a girl that was on television and became Baras Chuve, saves his life. What, what did you find in this book? That I can't be with a boy royal everywhere. In every time, you know what you know what the Kodesh Baruch Hu says. Shochat mechek rashai kach lehatot uruchot mishpat in the Mishnah. I don't know what chapter. Look for this possible in Rashi. Shochat mechek rashai kach lehatot uruchot mishpat. The Kodesh Baruch Hu takes bride from the chay from the intimate relation. I tell you, Rashi what says this between him and the Kodesh Baruch Hu. Bride mechek rasha from a roshi. For a wicked person, makes a virus. He takes Shochat, when he talks to him, between me and the Kodesh Bohu, and he changes the bad decree to be a good one. The Kodesh Bohu accepts when this Roshi is in drugs. He now stole. He now, I don't know, he made an Aveiro with a woman. He, he was in the Hamishim Shahid to me. And he's there. But he talks to the Kodesh Bohu, he says, Boy, I want to get out of it. I want to get out of it. I know. I want and I fall. I want and I fall. Please help me. This is what they do to Banchuwe. Yes, maybe this is the answer. The answer is in a minute. Now, you ask me if, if for my... When I... When, 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 when my rabbi proved to me that this is the truth, he became my rabbi later. He proved to me. He was from Germany, West European Jew, Logic, all the philosophers, 
authors, <coughs> culture, painters, authors, philosophers, everything. I was astonished. A Schwarz, a Yifun, a West Aris. I was astonished. And he proved to me, he said, I can prove to you the Mönch of Jerusalem. If you can prove the other way around, I come with you to Tel Aviv. I come to the shore, on the, I live on the beach shore, on, on the beach, yes. Uh, this is my life, all the time. I come with you to the beach. If I prove to you, come to Jerusalem. I said, okay, prove it to me. I didn't give him even a chance, one in a million. He can prove it to me. I was sure that religion is something that you feel. He proved it to me. And it was like, what would I do with this? I couldn't even begin to move a yarmulke, to put the yarmulke on my hand. <laughs> I would mean, tell me a hundred gehenims, I wouldn't have ever put such a thing on my hand. I was Uri I was my image, everybody know in the country. What do we mean? I'm coming. Oh, it's, it's impossible. What do I do? I began to talk to Koshbogu. As simple as that. I said, I know that you are there. I don't feel anything. Don't tell it to anybody else. I said, I know that you are there. And I wish you wouldn't be there. <laughs> <laughs> but you are there. What can I do? Help me. I, can, I, I cannot do anything. I don't want to go to the end. I have three children. Then we had all the three children. The old one was 10 years old. And I said, I, I don't want my children to go to the end. I, what? I cannot do anything. Shab, what are you talking about, Chavez? What do you want? Nothing at all. Help me. I began to talk. And it was a very interesting conversation. Now I know that he answered me. <laughs> through my mind. Rambam says that the mind, our mind is our attachment to the to the Kodesh Bogu. The godly part in us is our minds. We, we think it's natural, yes of course. I know what's far away and close. A cat doesn't know it. What is far and close, right and left, high and low. We we abstract we, we abstract the nature, we abstract the, the reality, we give words. To, to be able to do this is a godly virtue that we have, and this is our mind. So I answer myself, I cannot do anything, please help me. And then I said, you cannot do anything at all, maybe there's something you can do. I, I thought I'm talking to myself, God won't talk to me. Maybe there's something you can do, I cannot do anything. Think, what is the easiest thing I can do? What is the easiest thing I can do? I have to prove to God what if I really want his help. So maybe there's something I can do. I found the easiest mitzvah that there is. Which, what mitzvah? Shabbos Abedah. What? Shabbos Abedah. <laughs> 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 Myself. Myself. Too long. It takes three minutes. Talk and sit. To light two candles before Shabbos with a broche once a week, <laughs> twenty seconds in a week, not in a day. Pit for the petach to kudash emachas as a kodesh broche. Open up a pinhole. I'll open all the gates. But it's always about the finish. So they say, yes, this I can do. Let's see. Buy a chodiot. I'll do it. Ah. Who answers me through my, my own mind. Ah, what do you mean? Let's see. That means you'll do it. And if you won't do it, you won't do it. Are you serious? Because the knows also what you think. Not only what you say. You know what you think in your mind. He knows. It's one and one, two. You're not too religious. If there is a point to the world, it's a hundred percent that he knows everything. He knows, he looks now here. He gives us life now. He, he enables me to make the movements with my hands while I'm talking. He is here, he is within. I am dwelling in you, the inner part of your soul. This is the Ani, this Ani, which is Ani Hashem, which is in, what the Rabbi said, in the soul of our sons. Ani. The old Ani is Ein. So let's go into it. Ein means. And so, anyhow, he talked to me and said to me, are you serious? I am serious to myself. I want to prove to the world that I really want him to help me. I am really accepting this smallest mitzvah than all. You accept it 100% for all your life. I am not again. I need to I said for all my life. And if I regret it a minute later, if I regret it, no bet. I don't go back. It was a difficult minute. 
a very difficult moment. To accept something seriously, I accepted it for all my life to light the candles. And a week later, I said, No, I say, Kishan. And two weeks later, I said, No, I'll put it this. But I ran inside, of course, not outside. And I'll do this, and do this, and do this. It took a few months, and I was inside. I asked my rabbi, I was saying, I was very clever. Is there a minimum? He said, what do you mean? He said, the minimum. I don't want to sit this first row in Ghana. It's the last row in Ghana. <laughs> Just the minimum. I don't even care if I feel the heat of the game in my back. <laughs> Just out. Red line. He was so clever. He said, yes, let me think about it. And he gave it the minimum. Chavez, Taz, Amishboche, Kashrus, pray, and gave him a walkers. Five yeah, fundamental things. So what do you mean pray? How much does it take? He says, what do you mean? Is it only the minimum? Minimum. Build a Krishna, Krishna, and feel it. So, he said, 10 minutes. So said, that's it. Shachis. Milche, much less. But you're on Krishna. 26 minutes. Yeah? And my name again, 10 minutes. This is it, this is it. Bochas, I don't care. Shachos. Yeah, I love my Israel. This is the way I went into. So, this was a miracle by itself. I talked to the British Bible personally. Maybe. This is why I became sensitive to his responses. I don't know how I understood that I cannot throw this. I understood. I don't know how I understood it. When I have my kid, when he's not a Bedele Hatoira, yeah? A neighbor on the block don't want him or her on the block because they feel threatened that maybe it's going to ruin other kids. Right. How do we, and we want to keep them at home. How do we handle such a situation? How do we handle to explain to neighbors that don't want to listen? They, everybody, including myself. Shainim. Shainim. Ask Mr. Shochen to lend you $250,000 he'll give you. So what do you care about the Shochen? <laughs> what is Shainim? Tell the Shainim to Rabba, thank you very much, I read the Shochen. And mind your own business. about <laughs> 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 is there the Don't be ashamed of them. You will be proud of them. And they will become tzaddikim moving. If you give them love and treatment and accept them very quietly, you have to have patience. I know, we, the whole system jumps out from our eyes. Oh. But what's he doing? He came with a girl. He comes three o'clock in the night. He's being drugged. <laughs> he is a Jewish soul. There's Jewish soul inside him. And you know what schar you get for saving a Jewish soul? This is the tafki the Koshbom put on us, for our children. This is our tafki to save his children. He's also the father. <coughs> To save his children, to bring you closer to him. This is the only way. If you give a better alternative, the rabbi said it. If you give me a better alternative, I accept it. Yes, please. I want to know did you ever find that your other children were affected in any way by this child that you were giving all this love to and didn't have any bad effect on them? You got the Ruchia. The truth is no. Each one of them had his own problem, not because they imitated, not because of this. And also the grandchildren. This is the ear and the house and the whole If you love him, he will he will also become much, much more and more uh, responsive to the situation. He doesn't want he doesn't want the, his little nephews <coughs> to become like him. He knows the truth. He cannot help it. Did you he read the book? I don't have to <laughs> <laughs> Ah, we had the book, so I asked him if you read, if you read the book, because you know it's so good. <laughs> I give them, everybody who comes, I give them a book on my mahal of 856. And the Rav is saying everything exactly like I say. I want to say one thing that the Rav said before. He said it's a Kiddush Hashem when you do these crazy things. And I often talk about that it's such a Chil Hashem. When you have a kid who's not from He's not feeling it. He's not connected. And we go in the name of Hashem and we terrorize him. And we make it impossible for them to even five years from now think about Yiddishkeit. We have what's right. Look at how many thousands of Balei who were never burned by us. They come to us and they want it. 
If we don't burn them, they come back. But when we go in the name of Hashem and the Torah, and we go to someone who's he's dysfunctional, he's waking up as a father that called me from Switzerland a few, months, a few weeks ago, and he was telling me, he's a good man, I'm not blaming him, he doesn't know. He's mamish, so, lo- so loyal to his son. He goes home to wake up his son to put on tefillin before before Shkia. <laughs> and your son is almost dead. Yeah. He's not living in the life. Yeah. So you go to the. I said, yeah. if you really want to do a mitzvah, why do it with one kid? Go to the hospital. There's yeah. 500 people not putting on tefillin and wake them up. Brain surgery is over. Yeah. It's man kriyashma. So don't you realize your son is dying? I'm not against tefillin, but this is your whole relationship is. He got to wake up and put on tefillin, and he's from this he's going to like Hashem. To Hashem. My question is about the other children. I don't have a problem with the kids. I don't have a problem with doing whatever we have to do. My problem is that if you have like a twelve and a half year old boy, that's normal and fine. What happens to his fears in I and what happens when he sees? So much going on when you bring in a girl. I think, what doesn't it have an effect? I understand. It has to. Listen, if you cannot say to a person to, to, to make a sin so the other one will be said. If this is really the situation, then maybe he has to leave home. And I would say another thing, to leave home, but he doesn't have to. Because I suspect that, it, that, that, that there is, there is an, a, a quarrel between the parents and the boy. This is why it becomes a problem. If you join him, if you love him, he will cooperate. He will help. He won't do things so the children will see bad things. He'll come with genes. He won't fight. He won't fight. He'll cooperate. Right. They don't see any of that. They don't see any fighting. They only see happiness and everything. So, and when they ask questions, they ask questions, and he will also tell them, listen, I have a problem. You don't have a problem. You don't have to do the same things. They will accept. Maybe, and if there is a child that wants to imitate, maybe it's not because a good child and he's happy, why should he imitate? Why should you, why should you do a bad thing? I just want to show the Rav something because to us, it's not a kid, just raise your hand. If this, what the Rav says, is the experience that you have, that they don't try to hurt your other kids and they try to even protect the other kids, just raise your hand, just look around. This is 100% MS Lamita. Thank you very, very much. Is there another reason for coming to America? Mama, 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 I never got an approval. I, we can prove everything you said. I'll prove the next thing. You ready for the next thing? Even, 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 more, even more. Even more. We had our grandchildren at one point, and my daughter had, was what, t- had TV in the room and Shabbos, and the, her nieces and nephews one came up the room and she said, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. And she had made sure that she shuts everything off, and I did before she lets her nieces and nephews into the room. So many so kids Shabbos. will say, don't touch, don't tell him not to, he better not give him a phone, don't let him touch Forget him. Forget that. My son, who probably doesn't anything, he will remind my 50-year-old that you should marry my son and then he can't make half, a half sick. <laughs> and your daughter? <laughs> and your daughter? And my daughter, she says she's an atheist. An atheist. Her daughter says she's an atheist. But with, with my youngest son, he's like, it's can't get up until you bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shkia, they're not shkia. interested. They don't believe in their life. When you when you challenge when you challenge them, they become defensive and they say no. There's no shama. But if you really know them, he's burned. He doesn't want to know from anything because the yeshiva covered up all the bad things. What's the question? No. So these kids, what would make him make that turn around? I, I tell you, there's one remedy. Alcohol pshain tchase ahava. If he's at home and he feels convenient, first of all, relax. You can do whatever you like. We are with you. We understand. We are with you. We are not expecting anything. Not, don't say this terrible <laughs> sentence. I know that you will become a sad. In my book, I write alcohol pshain and all of his sins. Tchase, you cover it with your love. My son who's 18 years old, he once was here for a few minutes, he knows what's going on. And he told the parents, he said, the greatest thing is tshuva me'ahava. 
said, your children will do tshuva may I have from your love. When you have a father and a zayda like this, of course you're going to come back. Where else are you going to find a, a parent like this? <laughs> no. Don't don't say this terrible sentence. I know, I know. You'll you'll be a son. Don't say it. Right. <laughs> wow. Don't remind them that wow. named after the Zayda yeah, yeah. was given a grace and son. <laughs> don't talk about something who is not going to want this. <laughs> <laughs> he, knows he knows everything. Can I ask you a question? What happens if you have an adult child that cut himself off from the family because of pain of, of the way certain things were handled and wants nothing to do and hasn't spoken to the family for two years? Call him and say, I apologize, come back. He, he doesn't... He call doesn't him, listen. you do your thing. Call him again and again and again. Again and again and again. But he keeps on saying he's not ready, he doesn't want. So the he doesn't want. He doesn't want to have contact with the family. Because maybe the family they, they didn't really... It comes There's no maybe, the family didn't. But I'm saying, you guys. So you yeah. can be true. I, I call him and say, change yourself, change the family. We have to accept this guy. And let him come once for half an hour, and then an hour. And give him good time. And be with him. Change. The most important thing is this change yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but have you, I changed, we're working on changing ourselves, but he doesn't, he keeps on. Well, what do you call? Two years. Not, he's 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 not, in other words, how many other children do you have? Approximately, let's figure out about 200, right? How many of you feel that the other kids, just raise your hand, if you feel that the other kids in your family are steiging because you accept this kid at home? Okay? Over and over again, what we realize is I work with them, but I explain to them that Beis Amikdash was destroyed because of Sinas Hina. It's very nice you'll from your error, but if you can't love your brother Ahamas Hina, we're not getting back to Beis Amikdash. And we explain to them this is our tafkin, this is our family's Nisayim, everything that the Rav says. And the parents take the lead, and the other children follow, and we work hard and we're all happy together. Just what are your closing thoughts for us? Any brachas, any thoughts for us? What should we do? What should we focus on? Maybe we should, should come to the to such a degree to thank the Kodesh Vol for this decision. It's a very, very important uh, uh, shalav step in worshipping the Kodesh Vol. It's changing from an established Haredi or even a Shem. From established Haredi to even a Shem. And to know that he loves each one of us. And kol ma'asav. And he loved his children. And you, and you, you told him the stories, how they change. You gave him love. They say, you say, you gave love. And, 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 and suddenly things change. And, and what this lady told us about, and he begins, he wants to go to Yeshiva. It, what, what do you have to say more than that? It's such a schus. It's such a schus. This is Israel. Abraham Abinu had a great in Israel. The Lord is study. We are, a lot of people will do that much quicker. Uh, sure. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when they come to me, they want to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wish that you would die. Rav Steinman said, the Chizuri Aketas Yitzchak, Rav Steinman said that many times parents come and they say, believe me, if he's not going to keep Shabbos, Amuchan Shayamos. Dr. Rav Steinman, they think that's Akedas Yitzchak. The Chizuri Akedas Yitzchak. Akedas Yitzchak was Ben Bincha Asher Ahavta. You want to kill one of your kids that you love, that gives you COVID? Zeirut. You want to kill the boy, boy she, Ben Shemachal Bushes? The Soina Oisai? That's not Akedas Yitzchak. He says you're just a right sayah. To thank the Kodesh Bohu, to ask the Kodesh Bohu, steady, cold pillar, and many other things. Rabbi Yochanan says, I write for the Kodesh Bohu, to give us the strength, to open our hearts. Not to make them by the truth. But why did I get this child and not somebody else? That's a schiss of it. Oh, and that's what he's saying. He said it's a schiss. I don't know if he said it. I don't know if he said it. I don't know if he said it.
ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם בורי נפשות רבות וחסרונם על כל מה שברא להחיות בהם נפש כל חי ברוך חי העולמים. אם תרצים